Well, good evening, everyone. Welcome to the Keith TMSA Virtual Festival Weekend and sadly, the Farewell Concert. I hope that you're all uh, looking forward to a great night's entertainment of music with so many videos and great performers. There's been so much great music over the weekend, certainly this afternoon, enjoying the music of Andy Kane and Peter Wood and earlier on, a great singer, Sheila Wellington. So we've got loads of music on the way. Thank you very much to the committee for asking me to come on for the Farewell Concert and Compare, uh, which is a bit daunting and slightly different uh, this year than standing up in front of a stage and seeing you all there. So I'm going to wave at you all now and hope that you'll give me a wave back and tell me uh, where you're listening from tonight and say hello so I can possibly see some comments as our great music goes on. The, the TMSA, Traditional Music and Song Association, has got loads of concert pieces lined up for tonight and they've all been recorded especially for us to play. This show is live and if you want to say hello, please do so. Thank you to the sponsors for the show as well, EW, Simmers and Son, Lifestyle Magazine, Shears Hair and Beauty Retreat, Springfield Properties. Uh, thank you very much. And we're going to get on with some music because that's what we're all here for, for the Farewell Concert. It's the Mature Strasby Fiddlers. And two of these sets have been especially recorded uh, with a wee video for the Fiddlers. Um, and it's made for the group's founder, Donald, Donald Barr. Now, Donald composed one of the tunes here, Olive Mitchell. And they're playing this to celebrate his 80th birthday earlier this year. So I hope that you had a great birthday, Donald. And I'm sure that we're going to sit back or possibly get off the sofa and have a dance about to the Mature Suspe Fiddlers.
brilliant music there, absolutely fantastic playing, and that was the Mature Strasby Fiddlers. And I must say uh, thank you to them as well for picking two of my favourite jigs at the end of that set, the Jig of Slowers and the Apple Highlanders. I'm going to say hello to uh, some of the people that have tuned in and watching us. I'm going to say hi to Jesse Stewart. It's lovely to see you on, Jesse, and I hope that you have uh, been enjoying all the music over the weekend put together here with the festival. Uh, Elizabeth Mann up in Shetland. Uh, we've got Alan Barnett there. Alan is tuned in from White Rock, British Columbia in Canada. And it was lovely to read a comment from Alan here saying that he remembers fondly of the Strathspey Fiddlers playing a fantastic concert in White Rock a few years ago. And Gary says that was one of their favourite concerts when they were all out playing together. Lots of other comments there, just seeing how much they enjoyed all the beautiful music there, including Olive Mitchell, which is a really nice tune, which was followed by Callum Road. So thank you very much to them for some extra great music to start us off on tonight's farewell and final concert for the Keith TMSA Festival this year. Next up, uh, we have got another fantastic musician. But before I do, I'm going to say uh, thank you to the previous two compares who were with us over the weekend on Friday night. We had none other than William Williamson, who was introducing the, the, the great dances. And I hope that you had a dance at home in your house. In fact, I, I was having a wee look today of what I could put into the virtual raffle for tonight. And I found a VHS here of William Williamson and my Bonnie Galloway. The only thing is I don't I don't have anything to play it on. Um, but I might, I might pop that into the raffle later, William. And uh, also to Natalie Chalmers, who uh, done a fantastic job last night as well. We really enjoyed it, and thanks very much. So next up, we have a finalist from the BBC, Scotland Young Traditional Music uh, scene. It's a Musician of the Year, and she was a finalist this year, originally from Rothy Norman in Aberdeenshire, and she's now living and studying in Glasgow. So would you like to put your hands together, please, for our next uh, musician and video tonight. It's Ellie Beaton. Hello, Avdi. I hope you're Adi and Grand, and I'm absolutely delighted to be able to perform to you, all, albeit on Zoom, for the Keith Festival. And for my little slot, I'm just going to sing to you some traditional ballads, really. So I'll start off with this first song that I learnt for the singing of Joe Aitken who I believe is also going to be performing, or has been performing. Uh, so this is the Buck and Fleming, so feel free to join in. Come, my jolly plumen lads that work among the grun. Come and listen to my story if you want to hear some fun. I'm near as young as I used to be, some say I've had my fling. But I feel just like a ten-year-old when I begin to sing. Oh, love the falloon, I lie, do, to the loon, I lay. I'll cry a horse, I'll sort your nout, I'll beg a rock, I'll stray. I'm as happy as a lark, fade dawn to dark, singing another day. Oh, love the falloon, I lie, do, to the loon, I lay. At Ellen Fian Merkit, no listen for thy say. A man is speared if I could work a pair a ten or day. If I could fall muck wi a man, he fairly got me gape. Says I, a man, for I can fee we fall muck wi a grip. Oh, love the falloon, a lie do to the loon, a lay. I'll cry your horse, I'll sort your nout, I'll beg a rock a stray. I'm as happy as a lark fade on to dark, singing all the day, oh, love the falloon, I'll I do, to the loon, I'll I. I was bothered for a sax, month at a place the card balcaren. For now I get him, the bothy lads, they teed me for a bairn. We horny hands, they eat belt spuds, the bothy fled was hobbit. We sharny beats, I tramp at the spuds. And said I like mine, chop it. Oh, love the falloon, I lie, do to the loon, I lay. 
I'll cry on horse, I'll sort your note, I'll beg a rock a stray. I'm as happy as a lark, fade on day dark, singing all the day, oh, though the falloon I lie, no, to the loon I lay. The night I married Mary Ann, I got missed off a foo. From the minister started to tie the knot, there was a hullabaloo. He says, my man fit is your name, and have you got the ring? But you should have seen the money's face. For I began to sing, oh, out the falloon I lie, do to ra loo lay. I'll cry a horse, I'll sort your out, I'll beg a rock a stray. I'm as happy as a lark, fade on day dark, singing all the day, oh, the the falloon I lie, do to ra loo lay. Thank you very much. <laughs> I hope you can all hear me because unfortunately in Glasgow I bide right next to the fire and police station so if you hear a siren going off it's probably just because somebody's burnt their toast. Uh, nothing to worry about, all safe here. Um, so I'm going to sing you as a song um, called Lonely in the Bothy by Charlie Allen. No fin I get him tear down wheel the boss in the a clue he could not back a tractor, care there was me why he could plow. Therefore I got all the work to do that suited me just fine. And I bid in a little tamar bothy. Well, the call winds they blow in on it, my tamar bothy door. And the mooses they juke and undo to the knot holes in the floor. But that snae the worst will be in here, discomforts I can thaw. For it's lonely a night in the bothy. Well, I sort the money's fancy balls and pit them out to pair. And I came the time the best showman that ever walked the earth. But for now the judges are we, and for now the sellers won. It's back to my little Tamar Bothy. Well, the Collins they blow in on it, my Tamar Bothy door. And the mooses they juke and undo to the knot holes in the floor. But that snae the worst will be in here, discomforts I can thaw. For it's lonely a night in the bothy. Well, no, I've no wife to tie me down, say I my on the louse. And every night I can be found at Wally's public house. But you canna blame a man for talking comforts for he can. For it's lonely a night in the bothy. Well, the Collins they blow in on it, my Tamar bothy door. And the mooses they juke and undo to the knot holes in the floor. But that snae the worst will be in here, discomforts I can thaw. For it's lonely a night in the bothy. I it's lonely a night. And the bothy. Thank you very much again. <laughs> so for this next song I thought I'd sing a song that I used to sing a few years ago and it just kind of came into my head. So I'm going to sing to you as Green Grouse the Laurel. I ain't had a sweet heart but no I ain't in. He's gone and he's left me to weep and to mourn. He's gone and he's left me, but contented I'll be 
for I'll find another far better than he. Green grows the laurel and soft fast the dew. Sorry was I loved to be pitted for you. But at our next meeting, I hope he'll prove true. And we'll change the green laurel for the violet sea blue. I wrote him a letter in the red rosy lines. He wrote back an answer, a twisted and twined, saying, keep your love letters, and I will keep mine, and you'll write to your lover, and I'll write to mine. Green grows the laurel, and soft fast the dew, sorry was I loved to be parted for you. But at our next meeting, I hope you'll prove true, and we'll change the green laurel for the violet sea blue. He passes my windy bay there late and late. The looks that he gives me would mark my heart break. The looks that he gives me a thousand wet kill. Though hates and detests me, I love that lad still. Green grows the laurel and soft was the dew. Sorry was I loved to be parted for you. But at our next meeting, I hope you'll prove true, and we'll change the green laurel for the violet sea blue. No, often I wonder who I mean in love men, and oft times I wonder why young men love them. But it's to my knowledge, I will hear you know that the men are deceivers forever they go. Green grows the laurel and soft was the dew. Sorry was I loved to be parted for you. But at our next meeting, I hope you'll prove true, and we'll change the green laurel for the violet sea blue. Green grows the laurel and soft as the dew. Sorry was I loved to be parted for you. And at our next meeting, I hope you'll prove true, and we'll change the green laurel for the violet sea blue. Thank you very much again. <laughs> so I'm now going to sing you a song that I learnt for the Christa Riches website, and it basically tells a story of a, a young lassie that is trying her hardest to find a lad, but she really can't find anybody. And at this point, she's willing to take anybody and Abadi to be her lovely husband. So this is uh, Betsy Bell. Oh, my name is Betsy Bell, and the gal I get a dwell. Ne do you want to fit I'm doing here? Well, I'm looking for a man, be he young or be he old. But only thing and breaks all day with me. Well, it was on last Friday night I met in we Sandy Recht, and he asked me for to be his loving bride. But I couldn't let him see I was desperate as can be, so I told him for to come out inside. Well, I jumped at the chance I he fairly made me dance, so I gave to him my answer there and then. But when I bought my wooden frock, he said, Lord, it's a, a joke. Oh, I want our fit saddy, we are the men. For and the lads have had my share, och, I've had a score or mere. But why they put me up, I do not know. From me the prude nor shy that the lads should pass this by. Oh, I want our fit saddy, we are the men. Well, if I 
bonnie birdie here, well they'd like a nice wee deer. And I ken I'm only three score and a ten. But be ye young or be ye old, curly headed, even bald. Oh, I want our fit saddy, we are the men. Oh, my name is Betsy Bell, and the girl I get had well. Ne do you want our fit Indian here? Well, I'm looking for a man, be he young or be he all. But on a thing and breaks all the we me. Thank you very much again. So I'm now going to sing you as a song that I, that I sang in the BBC Young Traditional Musician of the Year finals. And it was lovely to, to appear at the mat, so uh, I thought that I'd include it in my wee set. So I'm going to sing to you as Farewell to Tarwathe, which is a, a song about a young lad leaving the area Peter Heed to go for the money is and going to Whelan, basically. So this is Farewell to Tarwathe. Farewell to Tarwathe and a Jew Mormon tell and the dear lands of Karim and I bid ye farewell. I am bow now for Greenland and ready to sail in the hopes to find a riches and a hunt in the whale. A duty, my comrades, is a while we must pit. Likewise, the dear lassie, for first one my heart. The Callans of Greenland, my love, will not chill. The longer the absence, the more loving she'll feel. Our ship is wheel rigged and ready to sail. And the crew, they are anxious to follow the wheel. For the icebergs to float and the stormy winds blow. For the land and the ocean is covered with snow. The Calvans of Greenland is barren and bare. No seed time nor harvest is ever came there. The birds there sing sweetly on mountain and dale, but there is na a birdie to sing to the whale. There is no habitation for man to stay there, and the king o' oh, the country he is the fierce Greenland bear. There'll be no temptation to tarry long there. We are ship bumper full, we will homeward repair. Farewell to Tarawathi on a Jew Mormon hill. On the dear lands of Karim and I bid ye farewell. I am bow now for Greenland and ready to sail. In the hopes to find the riches in a hunt in the whale. Thank you. Sorry, it might look a wee bit different now. My camera just fell off of the, the shelf. So, technical difficulties. I do wish we were back in person. Um, anyway, this next song that I'm going to sing to you is, is a, a ballad about a Robin Hood kind of character and basically he, he gets done for stealing some Lion Keith and then ends up getting hanged near, near Bump on Macduff. So this is uh, Macpherson's rant. Fair wee dungeons dark and strong Along for wheel to thee. Macpherson's time all may be long on yonder gallows tree. 
It was by a woman's treacherous hand that I was condemned to die. She called me a martino and a cell, and a blanket she threw over me. I see rantonly and see dantonly, see wantonly gear he. He played a tune and he danced a tune Below the gallows tree I the laird o' grant o' that healing sant For he first laid hands on me He pleads the cause o' Peter Brown Ach, let Macpherson be Untie these bands fear in my hands and bring to me my sword. There's me a man in a Scotland, but I'll brave him at a word. I see rantonly and see dantonly, see wantonly gear he. He played a tune and he danced a tune below the gallows tree. And some come here for to see me hanged, and some to buy my fiddle. But afore that I would pay her to her, I'll brock her out the middle. He's teen the fiddle and he beat his hands and brock the tower we a steen. There's me and there's grip play on her, for I am deed and gain. I see rantonly and see dantonly, see wantonly gear he. He played a tune and he danced a tune Below the gallows tree Oh, little did my mother think When first she cradled me That I would turn to the roving trade And I'd hang the gallows tree but a reprieve was coming now, the brigo bump, for to set Macpherson free. But they pet the clock there quarter of four, and they hanged him free the tree. I see rantonly and see dantonly, see wantonly gear he. He played a tune and he danced a tune a below the gallows tree. Thank you very much. So I'm now going to sing to you another Bothy ballad and uh, I got this for the singing of Alan Taylor. So feel free to join in. This is the Offered Cattle Show. I'll ne'er forget the morning when the farmer said no loon. Yelk at all best I to get up and to offer yelking doon. We horse and fancy hairness, I think we'll hear go. To try on win the first prize at the offered cattle show. So if you want excitement and you like to hear go, just come along and join the fun at the offered cattle show. We sat out on the stroke o' nine, our bess was like a queen. Her tail did up in bonny pleats, her skin was fair as sheen. But I heard a lad remarking, she has me long to go. As Bessan I proceeded to the offered cattle show. So if you want excitement and you like to hear go, just come along and join the fun at the offered cattle show. Newf and I landed at the park, I had a good look roon, and I met in with the foreman for a place they called a saloon. 
He said ye dinna stun a chance, I said we'll at nae so. For we hoped to win the first prize at the Alford Cattle Show. So if you want excitement and you like to hear go, just come along and join the fun at the Alford Cattle Show. I've never saw sick bonny beasts as fit I saw that day. There was prize balls up for Clooney, brass dots for course and day. There was sick a lot to see there, I'm sure I dinna know. For do I fix dinna come to see the offered cattle show? So if you want excitement and you like to hear go, just come along and join the fun at the offered cattle show. Now I got a rude a walkin', all best in second prize, and just to show she wasn't pleased, <sighs> lay down and wouldn't arise. So I thought I'd better do my bit to show I wasn't slow. So I entered on the sports events at the offered cattle show. So if you want excitement and you like to hear go. Just come along and join the fun at the Alford Cattle Show. Now after I was dinnered, I stripped it to my sark and joined another race is just for a wee bit lark. But the obstacles fair beat me, my face was fair a glow, for I tent my bricks can throw a bag at the Alford Cattle Show. So if you want excitement and you like to hear go, just come along and join the fun at the Offered Cattle Show. Well, I didn't let that incident upset my happy day, and after some refreshment, I was feeling kinda gay. So fin the band struck a ball waltz, I thought I'd hear go. So I oxed the ball for his deem at the offered cattle show. So if you want excitement and you like to hear go, just come along and join the fun at the offered cattle show. Now as the night was waiting on, I said new Mary Jane. I'd like to hear the last waltz, and then I'll see you again. But that was my undoing, and I'd like you all to know, we got married no long after that offered cattle show. So if you want excitement, and you like to hear go, just come along and join the fun at the offered cattle show. So if you want excitement, and you like to hear go, just come along and join the fun at the offered cattle show. Thank you very much. <laughs> So unfortunately, or fortunately, however, which why you went to see it, uh, I've come to the last song, Am I a Wee Set, for this year's Keith Festival. And before I finish up, I would just like to say a big, big muckle thanks to Albany at Keith Festival, and in particular to Gary for, for organising Albany together and making sure that I run smoothly, which I'm sure it has. Um, and I, I kind of wait to see us on the flesh at some point in the next year or seven depending on if it's happened. Uh, but I'm going to finish my set with a song called I Canna Get A Lad, which is, I think is quite appropriately pit. So this is uh, I Canna Get A Lad. <clears throat> I'm a big stoop strapping young hezzy on the verge of just 19. I'm modest, neat and tidy as any country coin can be. My hame it's money pleasures, and I'm very seldom glad. But the draws along my troubles as I can act a lad. I can wash, bake and darn, men clays and scrub a flare, make a dozen different dishes, to a gentleman and mayor. I'm the best ten-fingered author, only Scottish mother has, but the dreary garret hurts me if I can act a lad. 
There's big Peggy running you can big Annie up the stairs. Sewer face Sally Silkins. We are ginger coloured hair. She's ugly and untidy and very seldom clad. But she's henna dozen offers and well I can act a lad. There's long lean Tibby for everybody canes. Her father was seen some time ago and jailed for stealing hens. She'll soon be wad to Johnny. Pure man, he must be mad. And to the Aldoon limmer, and I can act a lad. If only Crooked Charlie or Cuntney Jock Meggy would mock a wee proposal to a nice young quine like me, I would brechen up his hoosey. I would never make him sad, but the dreary garret dreads me if I can act a lad. For the dreary garret dreads me if I can act a lad. Thank you very much. I hope you've enjoyed my wee set and I hope to see you all very soon. Enjoy the rest of the Keith Festival. <laughs> There we go. Put your hands together once more for Ellie Beaton, a finalist from the 2021 BBC Radio Scotland Young Traditional Musician of the Year competition. And uh, some fantastic singing with some young Kent songs. Uh, I'm going to have to try and get my lingo on and learn a few of these boffy ballad words. But I'm sure that you can all use your uh, emotion uh, things on Facebook if you're watching and show a round of applause there that Ellie can look back at later. Some nice comments again, uh, some great singing, Wheel Dean. Um, there was a comment there from Joe Aitken, who will be joining us later on this evening, saying beautiful singing, Ellie, as always. Uh, again, if you would like to support Ellie in her musical ventures, then please do it by popping something into her tip jar. The link is in the description there by our trusty producer, trusty producer uh, for tonight's show which is Gary Cool. he's actually sitting in the back room just now if, in fact if I just are you, are you, are you still in there oh, we'll keep him in there just now and we'll, we'll let him come out and speak to you all very shortly now if there's any more Buffy songs I'm going to have to get some sort of outfit that might help me speak or spack the, the words a wee bit better anyway on with our next act uh, which is Jim and Susie Malcolm uh, so we're welcoming them to the stage. Now, Jim was the lead singer with the world-renowned and multi-award winning Old Blind Dogs for eight years with family roots in Perthshire and Strathclyde. Jim has been a professional musician um, since graduating from Edinburgh University. And he referred to the founding member and the first chairman of the Keith TMSA, Jim Reid, as his hero. So without further ado, Hadar Gan. And please welcome to the stage, Jim and Susie Malcolm. Hello, folks. Uh, I'm Jim, and this is Susie. We're the Hello. Malcolms. Uh, we're sitting here in amongst the bonny blooming heather. Uh, quite a lot of technology involved doing concerts out here, but uh, hey-ho. <laughs> Thank you very much for inviting us to be part of Keith Festival this year. I'm going to put up a new background to illustrate our first song. We are going to be singing a selection of songs about the travellers. And oh, some of the sharp ones among you might have guessed what our first song is going <laughs> to be. Sunglasses on, please. <laughs> I know. It's The Yellow on the Broom by Adam McNaughton. And now most of the songs we're going to sing today are great singing along songs. And uh, if we were all together at Keith Festival, we'd be jam packed into some venue and singing along. But I hope you will still um, join us at home. Yellow on the Broom. <laughs> Yet in a like it lass to winter here in tun for the scaldies all miss cry us and they try to pit us doon and it's hard to raise three parents in a single flea box room but I'll 
I'll tuck ye on the road again when yellow's on the broom. When yellow's on the broom. When yellow's on the broom. I'll tuck ye on the road again when yellow's on the broom. Galdi's criers tinker dirt and scones her ruins in school. But what cares what a Scaldi thinks? But a Scaldi's but a fool. He's never heard the yarlins cry nor seen the blacks in bloom. For the rock cooped up in houses when yellow. When yellow's on the broom, when yellow's on the broom, they're all cooped up in who says when yellow's on the broom. They call for pegs or baskets new, so just to stay alive. We have to work at scaldy jobs, be nice. Clock till five, but we call him an urmister, and we own the world's room, and we'll bid fair we'll take the can when yellow's on the broom, when yellow's on the broom, when yellow's on the broom. When yellow's on the broom I'm weary for the springtime When we tuck the road in smear For the planting and the pearling And the berry fields all oh, When we meet up we're kinfolk Be all the country run Fan the country On the broom, when the gun a boot for tack the road, and yellows on the broom. When yellows on the broom, when yellows on the broom, I'll tack you on the road again. When yellows on the broom. When Yellow's on the Broom, folks. Thank you. Uh, that was a song written by Adam McNaughton, the wonderful uh, songwriter, who also wrote the Jelly Peace song. So that's the range of the man. <laughs> uh, now, folks, uh, uh, in that song, uh, the habits and travels of the of the travels mentions the, the berry fields of Blair, and that's uh, our neck of the woods. Uh, and here's a, a, a lovely old picture, uh, I think maybe from the 1950s, judging by the hats, we think maybe some of these berry pickers are imposters, though. Uh, this chap. I think he's a journalist, <laughs> and the photograph, the photographer said, "We don't have enough people. You go and sit there, because <laughs> yeah. no one would go picking berries in those colours of clothes." Would they? Absolutely not. No, uh, and uh, of course, the berry fields of Blair was the great kind of bonanza for uh, the travelling folk—a uh, chance for them to earn serious money, working long, long hours uh, through these long, long days of summer. Two months of work if you if you knew your your berries, uh, and uh, Blair Gowrie just buzzed with with an atmosphere. The pubs apparently were were something special. It was a sight to see, <laughs> apparently. Uh, you know, throwing out time during the berries uh, from the pubs in central Blair Gowrie was uh, like a fair in itself. Yes, and this song actually was written by one of the great uh, uh, traveller performers, uh, Belle Stewart, uh, and she wrote this song in 1947. And I say it's a wonderful, wonderful picture of, of just all the all the people and all the, the habits uh, of the famous berry fields of Blair. Uh, and we're getting there, we're getting there, another uh, few weeks to go, and then the, the pickers will be out there. So. When berry time comes round, each year birth population swelling. 
There's every type of picker and every type of dwelling. There's tents and huts and caravans, there's buffies and there's bivvies. And shelters made with tatty bags and dugouts made with divvies. There's corner boys for Glasgow, kettle boy, there's for Lochie. There's miners for the pits of Fife, more workers for Dundee. And fisher folk for Peter Heed, and tramps for everywhere. All looking for a living off the berry fields of Blair. There's travellers for the Western Isles, for Harren, Mull and Sky, For Harris, Lewis, Kyle's a beauty. Come the luck to try Fay in the Ness and Aberdeen Fay storm away and wake Off oh, lock to blare at berry time The straws and rust to pay The sum will earn a pound or twa Some canny earn their keep The sum would pick fay morn till nicht And some would rather sleep The sum will hate to pick a stair And some would in a cave there's comedy and tragedy played on the fields of Blair. There's families picking for acres, there's some who pick a lane. There's men who share and share alike with wives that's no their aim. There's gladness and there's sadness, too. there's happy hearts and sad. For there's some who bless and some who curse the very fields of Blair. A four I put my pen a wa is this I'd like to say You'll travel far afore you'll meet a kind of lot than they For I've mixed with them in field and pub and while I've breath to spare I'll bless the hand that led me to the very fields of Blair I'll bless the hand that led me to the very fields of Blair Now, I'm going to sing a song uh, which has a very typical theme for uh, a Scottish song and a traveller song. It's about a young girl uh, listening to the skirl of the pipes and deciding to go away with a piper. Now, I do have a photograph of a nice young piper. This is someone I know from Sky. Uh, he leads people up and down mountains. <laughs> and uh, I was lucky that when he took... Uh, me and some others to the top of the old man of store. He took out his pipes and started playing and it was uh, quite an event. Smashing. So, Hey Donald has a very good uh, joining in chorus. So It's also do. our neck of the woods as well, the Sidlaw Hills. Uh, we live at sort of the sort of perth end. end of the Sidlaw. Uh, Susie mm -hmm. goes for a walk m most days up, up one of them, Canoe Hill up to the, the top there, peers over. Uh, and we're going to start off with a little pipe tune, uh, which you'll, those of you that know your tunes will know is called uh, Heel and Laddie. <laughs> Tom, a carpet neath her feet, 
sing it. Hey, Donald, oh, Donald, that I might do our day. Sing it. Hey, Donald, oh, Donald, that I might do our day. Sing it. Hey, Donald, oh, Donald, that I might do our day. Thanks so much, folks. Well, uh, the Travellers uh, wrote some great songs. They also inspired uh, a lot of great songs, and we've heard uh, Adam McNaughton's wonderful Yellow in the Broom. Uh, I, I've written a couple of songs inspired by the travelling life. There's something about the, I think, the sort of level of freedom that these folks had, uh, their ability just to sort of uh, pick themselves up and move on. It's something that domestic people, <laughs> housebound people, don't really have the opportunity to do with all the ties they have. Uh, and I wrote this song around a cycle of life that existed around the jute mills in Dundee. A lot of the travellers were forced uh, to spend the winter time working uh, in the jute mills in Dundee. But as the spring came on, their opportunity to work in the fields, the fields of Angus uh, and in Perthshire, opened out a whole lot of opportunities for them. Uh, this, I suppose the highlight of which would have been the, the berry fields of Blair uh, and all the berry picking that goes on in that wonderfully fertile area that, that surrounds Dundee. Uh, but the mills would draw them back uh, as winter drew on uh, and the cycle uh, would continue. This is called uh, the Fields of Angus. Here we go. Right. And while we're playing this, uh, I'm going to show a slideshow that uh, we put together with photographs from Angus and from the mills in Dundee. So I hope you'll enjoy this. Of all the mills I'd fill Dundee There's no loom could harness me The mill keeps clacking that it stills, but I'll soon be traipsing through the Sidlaw Hills. Come leave these dark mills and tramp away me through the fields of Angus and run by the day. We'll see. Summer evenings fishing, petals fray the stream. Oh, of all the birds that fill the sky, the cheerful lark is the hardest to spy. The mill keeps clacking and chokes. Way the stir, and I wish that we were camped by Kitty Come, leave these dark mills and tramp away me through the fields of Angus and run by the day. Well, seek good Lord. Work when working, and will while summer evenings fishing, petals fray the stream. Oh, of all the months that fill the year, the cruel November fills my fear. The mill. Clacking and winter's a and we'll hate to find a job in Dundee Come leave these dark mills and tramp away me through the fields of Angus and run by the tail. And we'll while 
all summer evenings fishing, petals free the stream. And we'll wild summer evenings fishing, petals free the stream. That's a picture of Jock Stewart there, um, Bell Stewart's, no, Jean, Bell Stewart's husband, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> okay, I'm just, uh, we'll come to our last song now, and it's called Pad the Road, a song that we learned from Malinky, and you know, we really have to thank them for a number of good songs that uh, we've taken from their singing. They're such a great mixture of imitation. academic research yes. and uh, imitation is prowess. the severest. <laughs> the severest, <laughs> sincerest <laughs> form of flattery. Yes. <laughs> yes. Uh, now, again, it is a song about a young man enticing a woman out on the road. And um, while looking for photographs of the travellers, we came across this fantastic... Oh, I love this one. I need to get out of the way to let you see it properly. Hang on. It's, it looks like they've fallen upon a hard time or maybe the horse is lame that day or something, but the actually pulling the cart themselves and the two wee ones with their bare feet and then the wee lad practicing <laughs> the pipes at the back as if things weren't bad enough yes. <laughs> um it's been fun to sing for you today i hope you're having a really nice uh, festival uh we'll all be glad to get out and about uh, when we're allowed but... and next year it'll happen because everybody will be vaccinated and it'll be woohoo back to normal had <laughs> the road Says I'm dearest Molly, come let us fix the time. For ye and I get married, love and wedlock has come by. For ye and I get married, love, rock happy we will be. For you are the bonny lassie that's to part the road with me. To part the road with you, sir, cold winter's coming on. Besides, my aged parents have never a girl but one. Besides, my aged parents have never a girl but me. So I'm no the bonny lassie that's to part the road with thee. Oh, never mind cold winter, love, the spring will follow on. Come sit you down beside me and I'll sing you a nice song. I'll sing you a nice song while I diddle you on the knee For you are the bonny lassie that's to part the road with me Oh, the other lads that I he had, they proved a cruel mind They beat me and bad used me and proved to be unkind They beat me and bad used me and guard me through the day But ere I get my love to them to part the road Dearest lassie, love will never day arrive. It's on my honest father's life, I swear I'll be near. I'll busk your bra and feather so you can bear the grief. As the bell no other country and depart the road with me. So she has donned her hose and shin and tear the cook the gain. And lying a lying a morning, a couple well made gain. And lang lang e the morning, the troubles were set free. For she's a bonny lassie that's stay. She's a bonny lassie. She's a bonny lassie that's to part the road with me. Thank you very much for having you. Cheers, folks. Bye. Brilliant music again from the wonderful Malcolms there. 
uh, with Jim and Susie. Uh, Jim being the lead player there from the world renowned and multi award winning Old Blind Dogs. Well, I hope that you're getting into the spirit of things with all this buffy ballads and great Scots music. Uh, something seems to have happened to my hair uh, over the last uh, 20 minutes there, but I'm sure it must be uh, working because all the music is great. Now, if you are tuned in on Facebook, it'd be great if you could give the page or the video you're watching right now a share so that everyone else can enjoy this music from wherever they're watching round about in the, in the world. There's people from abroad all over. And if you are listening from abroad, it would be great to hear where you're listening from tonight. So write it in the chat box and we would love to have a read. Great music again and a lovely duo with some lovely songs. Next up, we have a wonderful lady who knows how to play the lovely piano, and it's Mo Rutherford. Uh, Mo was originally from Keith, and uh, she's a great pianist. She's now uh, residing in Perth, and I've noticed quite a lot of videos from Mo over uh, lockdown over the past year, bringing uh, lots of her street residents some great pleasure by playing some lovely music outside on her driveway. And I can remember somewhere over the rainbow, uh, one of my favourites, when the sun was shining. It was lovely. Uh, she's been very busy uh, this festival, being virtual, and she judged two of the competitions, uh, played for the dance, and she's also going to be back later to accompany Raymond Jappy. So she's really done a lot for this weekend's festival, and I hope that you're still enjoying it. And I'll hand you over to Mo Rutherford, our next concert act this evening. I'm really pleased to be back in Keith at the virtual festival and I'm going to play you three selections on the piano because I should have been a guest this year but unfortunately things are different um, and at least I abide in Perth I've maybe been naughty like the folk in Murray. I'm going to start with a lovely slow air called Durris Deer followed by three Burns songs uh, Duncan Grey, My Love She's But A Lassie Yet and then the deals are war. I hope that's what comes out. <laughs> Thank you. 
Execution is something that I've sort of adopted as my signature tune. It's the Bonnie Lass of Bon Accord, written by Scott Skinner. We need to keep it local, Scott Skinner, Aberdeen and Bankery. And this is a lovely tune. I hope you enjoy it. from Keith Musicians. The first one is called It's a Jig, it's called The Bee Man and it was written by Ian Duncan who played the double bass, lived in uh, Nelson Terrace. Ian's dad was a great beekeeper with all the hives in, in the garden. And then the next one is going to be a Strath Spey, written by my dad Walter Rutherford, written for my sister so it's called Miss Anne Rutherford. And we're following that with another jig of Ian Duncan's called Art de Manich, which is where I was brought up 
and subsequently thrown out. <laughs> and then we finish with George Anderson. George, according to this from Quarry Hill, and um, he has composed this tune called A Thrusk after a famous whiskey. So thanks again for having me. I've enjoyed taking part. And again, more brilliant music here at this Keith TMSA final concert of the weekend. I hope you've all enjoyed yourself so far and some great comments. I was asking uh, if anyone was listening from abroad to say hello. So hello to Anne-Marie from Denmark, who's uh, tuned in tonight. And we've also got Sheena Else. Sheena is listening from Hamilton, Ontario. Uh, she left Kerry Muir 59 years ago, but tuned in tonight, which is great. And some lovely comments there for Mo. Uh, love the piano music, Angela Gilfillan saying there. Kathleen Anderson says, what a great variety in the concert tonight. And I can tell you that there's plenty more of that to come. Um, Elizabeth and David Bolton down there in Dunbar, East Lovian, saying lovely playing. And the Bonnie Lass of Bonacord was uh, her dad's favourite tune. Many other lovely comments there. And I'm sure Mo will be able to catch up and read all these lovely comments whilst uh, the show's on or after the show. Um, if you haven't been to the Keith Music Festival before, I can certainly recommend it. We went up uh, with the band for our first time about two years ago, and we were made very welcome, and we had a great time. There's lots of different music on, different types of music, and different venues all around the town, with some great concerts and some dances on the Friday night, and uh, the final concerts on the Sunday night. It's really uh, a sellout concert and the bowling club is usually full up top to brim. Uh, it was also competitions on over the weekend and I have to say it's the first time that I've ever came across a diddling competition and I must say 
maybe next year I might enter myself. Anyway, moving on with some music, Callum McElroy is our next um, instrumentalist and singer from Aberdeenshire up there in the northeast of Scotland for those joining us. Uh, he graduated from the Royal Conservatoire Scotland in 2020 from the traditional music course and after reaching the final of the BBC Radio Scotland Young Traditional Musician of the Year competition, uh, he released and recorded his debut EP, This Ill Deeds, which features a special guest, Anna Garvin, on keyboard. Now, if you'd like to find out more information about Callum and support him and his music, you can look at the website www.callummcelroy.com, and I'm sure our trusty technician uh, in the back room there will... Uh, We'll sort that out for you and put the link up on the screen. So put your hands together for Callum McElroy. Does that a certain ferrum tune on the winding Devron Plaidy border? There was an old wife he cut, Mistress Greg. The servant girl is she kept in order. Tow, row, 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 defaulted it the lady, defaulted it the lady, to tow, row, row. Elka next for she get to bed, she would search the hoose all over. In fearing a villain might be there, and amongst them prove a rover. Tow row row row, defaulted it to lady, defaulted it to lady, to tow row row. Now the women being all this so tired, a suit of men's clothes they procured. They hae made a man o' stra, and in aneath the bed he was buried. When Mistress Greg was jan around, so in aneath the bed she spied him. Come out o' that, ye villain, she cried, and then I think ye're frae me hiding. Tow, row, 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 defaulted it to lady, defaulted it to lady, to tow, row, row. Tuck him frae where he was lying, and the old man placed at the foot of the stairs to cudgel him when from them flying. Now they've taken him out and they've lain him down. The old man he was for him ready, and when he laid on his stick so hard, the bath his legs fell from his body. Tow row row row, devolted it the lady, devolted it the lady, to tow row row. Now the women they were pitting a wa for the ill deeds that they'd been doing. Mistress Greg and her old man were left together, his body together. I, Mistress Greg and her old man, pair old bodies they need a bother. And when he lays on his stick so hard, perhaps he'll maybe slay some mither. Tow row row row, defaulted it to lady, defaulted it to lady, to tow row row. Tow row row row, defaulted it to lady, defaulted it to lady, to tow row row. Hello, everybody. My name's Callum McElroy, and I'm really pleased to be giving you a wee set for this virtual Keith Festival. Um, that was a song there to start off with from my debut EP, which came out in October last year. Um, the EP was called This Ill Deeds, and that was the first track off of it. 
which is an old Bothy ballad called Mistress Greg. Um, I'm going to play a couple of tunes on the mandolin now. I'm going to play an old favourite, um, The Hut on Staffan Island by Phil Cunningham. And I'm going to try and play it correctly. Um, and then I'm going to play another tune that I've been really enjoying playing recently called Pelinor's Ride. And it's actually a tune by Andrew Marlin, who's a great um, American mandolin player. So this is The Hut on Staffan Island and Pelinor's Ride. So I'm going to do another song now, and this is another one that comes off of my This Ill Deeds EP. It's a song called When First I Came to Caledonia, and I first heard it from Tony Cuff, who was obviously a great guitarist and singer. Um, it was actually the title track of his solo album, which is where I first heard it. And um, the song talks about Caledonia, Caledonia, 
but it um, is talking about a place in Canada called the Caledonia Coal Mines. And um, it talks about two brothers who go there to become miners. And the brother who's telling the story, once he arrives, he sees a woman down at the harbour and he falls hopelessly in love with her, but decides that he's not worthy of her. So he goes and drowns his sorrows in brandy instead. So this is when first I came to Caledonia. When first I came to Caledonia I got loading at number three I got boarding at Donald Norman's He had a daughter, could make good tea And it was me and my brother Charlie the biggest shavers you e'er did see We're spearing eels in the month of April And starving slaves out on Scatteray I get to Normans for a pair of brochen A pound of soap and a cake of tea but Norman said that I may not have them Till fish got plenty on Scatteray So I went over to their big harbour Just on purpose for to see the spray I spied a maiden from Boulandry over she looked to me like the Queen of May And I had paper of the purest white If I had ink of the rosy morning A true love note unto you I'd write I wish that I was on the deepest ocean As far from land as once I could be Sailing over the deepest water A woman's love would never trouble me I lay my head to a cask of brandy And it's a dandy I do declare Cause when I'm drinking I'm seldom thinking how to gain that young lady fair When first I came to Caledonia I got loading at number three I got boarding at Donald Norman's he had a daughter could
could make good tea. I'm going to finish off with one more thing now. This is a little waltz tune called Eileen's Waltz, and I first heard it from Jordan Tice, who's a great American guitar player. Um, so I first learned it from his playing, and I've been playing it ever since. Um, it's a lovely tune, and it was written by the bass player Mark Schatz um, for his wife Eileen. So I'm going to finish off with that now. Thanks so much to the Keith Festival for having me along. I hope you enjoyed this set. And um, if you want to listen to more of my music or find out more about me, then head over to my website, which is www.callumacleroy.com. So hope to see you all again soon, hopefully in person. So thanks. <laughs> Thank you.
Well done to uh, Callum McElroy there. And like Callum said, if you love uh, that music, then check out his website. He's got loads more on it and uh, loads more information about him and all his playing. Great to see so many different instruments being played there as well. The mandolin, uh, the guitar, and also singing as well as playing that. Uh, there's the website along the bottom there uh, from our trusty uh, technician, Gary, uh, CallumMcElroy.com, and he's also got his tip jar there. Now, also, if you'd like to support the Keith TMSA Festival and help them continue to go and support them for uh, running next year, then you can check out their website that they have set up on a GoFundMe page. It's gofund.me forward slash. A lot of letters and numbers, uh, which you can see on the screen below you, it is genuine. It's just that the way they generate these things. But I'm sure the festival will be really appreciative of any support to help them get up and running next year. Now, while that links up on the screen, I'll read out some of the lovely comments there about Callum. Lovely singing and playing by Callum from Barbara Coots. Kathleen Anderson says, I haven't heard eh, Oni, Oni, I'm getting there. I haven't heard Oni of those songs tonight, so something totally new for everyone. Uh, Angela Gilfillan, great music and sing. Peter Gilmore, lovely set, Callum, very well done. We've also got the dandy dancers, Sheila and Billy there from uh, the Granite City, sing wonderful playing and singing Callum. Next up, it's time for one of the Scottish dance bands to take centre stage, and that is Leonard Brown and his all-star band. Uh, Leonard uh, first became involved in music at the age of four when he started piano lessons with teacher Norman Brown from Penshaw, that's down in County Durham. Uh, he sat numerous exams through the Associated Board of the Royal School of Music, ABRSM, and achieved his grade eight by the age of 15 years old. Uh, other accordion players that have influenced Leonard over the years are Gordon Patullo, Dermot O'Brien, Seamus O'Sullivan, Wayne Robertson, Liam Stewart, Michael Phillip, and Ian McPhail. Now, since 2011, Leonard has recorded 11 professional albums and three DVDs, most of which are available to purchase through the shop page and his website as a CD, DVD, or the latest product on everyone's shopping list, a USB. So get your dancing shoes on and look forward to a cracking performance here from Leonard Brown and his all-star band, Hutter Gahan.
Well, hello everyone, Leonard Brown here. I'm delighted to be asked by the Keith Music Festival to perform as part of the weekend festivities. Uh, delighted to have the all-star band join me and I hope you enjoy this selection from us. So take care, enjoy, and we'll hopefully see you in person again soon. Cheers.
There we go. Leonard Brown and his all-star band there. And uh, that last tune, a uh, great tune, Ingram's 35. I know it's one of the dancers' favourites, and I think a lot of dancers have been tapping their toes there for the last uh, wee act there with Leonard. And uh, Irene Watson, nice to see Irene and Jim on there saying great selection of tunes and well-played Leonard. Uh, David Letty saying feel good tunes and many other people there with some lovely comments for Leonard Brown and his band. I hope you're all enjoying yourself. Uh, it's been a great variety on uh, tonight's concert so far and there's still more to come. Next up is Raymond Jappy. Now Raymond, uh, I met Raymond for the first time a good few years ago up in Shetland at one of the festivals. Now Raymond has won the Glen Fiddick Fiddle Championship in 2008 and he received his first fiddle lessons from James Alexander of Fakavers. And he was a member of the Fakavers Fiddlers, the Strathspey Fiddlers and Caliban Kruachan. He released a CD with Mo Rutherford, who we heard earlier tonight, uh, fairly recently, and that is titled Crossing the Spey, and that was back in 2010. And he's accompanied here by Mo in this concert. So put your hands together, please, for Raymond Jaffe, accompanied by Mo Rutherford. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. A real pleasure for me to be here um, this afternoon and share some fiddle music with you. I'm absolutely delighted uh, that my dear friend Maureen Rutherford is here to accompany me this afternoon and I do hope you enjoy our selection of music. We're going to start very traditionally with a march, Stuspe and Reel, Edgefold House, Errol Grey and finishing up with William Marshall's Reel, Miss Cameron of Balvenie. Thank <laughs>
now with the beautiful slow air written by James Scott Skinner called Herr Olaf's Farewell. <laughs> share with you, ladies and gentlemen, a lovely slow to spay written by uh, William Marshall called The Marchness of Huntley to spay and then follow that with three jigs that we enjoy playing together. The first by Robert McIntosh, Miss Barbara Hayes favourite and then two tunes by William Marshall to finish, Miss Grant of Ballandalich and Miss Anne Cameron. <laughs> Thank you. 
Ladies and gentlemen, it's been a pleasure for us both to play for you today and we're going to finish off uh, with a lovely waltz uh, which is a tune that I wrote for my wife called Song for Kay. Not many words to describe that absolute beautiful playing and uh, Raymond certainly knows how to make that fiddle sing uh, accompanied with superb playing from Mo as well and uh, it'd be great if you could all show your hands again and give that great duo a round of applause because it was well deserved with some lovely music and that last waltz was just beautiful. Um, before we go any further I'd just like to say thank you very much to the sponsors for uh, this great concert. Uh, e W. In fact, they're all there. There's the, there's the tip. You, you're doing a great job in there, Gary. Um, <laughs> we've got the, the sponsors here on the the screen. We've got Springfield Properties, Shears Hair and Beauty Retreat, Lifestyle Magazine, and E W Simmers and Son. And uh, thank you very much for them for helping support. And if you'd like to support the Keith Music Festival, then you can. There's a GoFundMe set up there. Uh, again, Gary has the link in hand. And if you're able to help support it and encourage everyone else to join in with it, then we can have another festival in 2022. But I must say, uh, well done to Gary. Uh, he will not be coming on at some point when I let him out. He's, he's still cooling down. Um, I must say well done to him because this work that has been put in to produce such a concert uh, on weekend with all the different videos has just been absolutely outstanding. There's videos from all sorts of musicians who have put a lot of effort and time into this. And uh, we must say thank to them all. So thank you, Gary, and all the other committee members that are involved. I'm sure you'll tell us about that later. Now, next up, we have a gentleman called Joe Aitken, who has been tuned in and watching all night because I've been seeing his comments. Uh, now, Joe is a Buffy Ballad singer who's won the Buffy Ballad Champion of Champions competition in Elgin a record seven times. He lives in Kiri Muir with his wife and technology technician, Pat, and he's attended nearly every key festival and it just wouldn't be the same without having him perform for us tonight. In fact, I remember the first time that I was up with the band, uh, we were very lucky and honoured to be joined by Joe to sing the Festival of Keith at the beginning of the night, which you'll hear later on. So put your hands together, please, and hurry on with Joe Aitken. Well, folks, here we are, uh, another Keith Festival. 
and I would have thought at this time last year that we would still be doing it digitally at th this year. Uh, it's, uh, however, we just have to mark D with what we've, we can and uh, surely by next year we'll uh, all get back together and and he erect, I erect the arm instead of this virtual things. But anyway, I'm going to start off the next We a Dundee song. Eh, then I can if you can Dundee, but it's been voted in of the best places to visit. Didn't say by, but it's been visit, eh, voted in of the best places to visit lately. So. Uh, but uh, here's the Madeline and Green anyway. <coughs> oh, well, here I am, a stranger, just new come from the sea. My ship, she lies at anchor in the harbour of Dundee. And your face, it is the fairest that ever I have seen. Oh, fair maid, would ye walk with me down by the Madeline Green? A rogue smile upon her cheeks. She answered me and said, Kind sir, I'd go along with you, But you know I am afraid. The paths they are so slippery, The nights are cold and keen. It would not do for me to fall down by the melon green. We kind words and promises along with me she went. We rambled here, we rambled there. We love and pleasure bent, and oft times did we sit and talk about love's pleasant sin. I fear that maid had money of far didn't buy the Madeline Green. But soon the time for parting came, my ship had hoisted sail. No longer would I see my dear, or tell of pleasant tale. We sang farewell to all Dundee, where happy I had been. And she was left to walk alone, down by the Madeline Green. One night while on my bed I lay, when my weary watch was done. I dreamt I was the father of a darling little son. And in my dreams his mother too was plainly to be seen. And she was weeping bitterly Down by the Madeline Green. And when my ship comes in again At the harbour o Dundee, I'll search the town all upon down until my girl I see. 
I'll ask her to forgive me for the rascal I have been, and we will make it up again down by the Madeline Green. So come on, ye jolly sailor lads, a warning take by me, and never slight a poor young girl for the sake of poverty. Tell lightly, love and sail away is neither straight nor clean, and never do as I once did, doing by the Madeline Green. Thank you. Now then, eh, uh, here's a song here that, eh, uh, well, started off as a, it was written for a competition in the People's Journal, well back about 1960. Uh, the same competition that gave us songs like Bandy's Rope and uh, If You've Never Been to Kerry, gems like that. Uh, it's called, uh, it was written by a naughty man in the scene, uh, George Corrigal I think it was. It's called Princey and Jean. <clears throat> I'll sing ye a song of a canty old body. A ken speckled figure was old what a brun. A trust o'er the hand at the men's a drum cloddy. Since the day he began to work there as a loon. And sign there is Bailey, he proved himself canny, his were conscientious, particular and clean, till he did his mister says what he my money, he'll talk the third pair, their cat prince and Jean. Now in a bonny Scotland, there was no a human, say happy as what he we his dandy pair, and he sent in his place with a lave as a plumin, and oh, we was proud o oh, his gelden and mare. A grand pair o' blacks, no their likes in a honour, we caught so a rich glossy ebony sheen, and that plew in matches for years were the winners, was what a for grooming we Prince and Jean. Now what he I bided, content with his duties, but less few changes as abody kens, decrepit old age, tin the bath of his beauties, and tractors began to appear at the men's. No steering wheel, what he just would not be gripping. He rocked on a Zora man, did not complain. But nobody noticed, per what he was slipping. Down hell, he was pining for Prince and Jean. And now he's a war, all his are ended, 
a god fearing buddy, why did his best? His life was a sermon, the mourners are kented. On Tuesday last week, when we laid him to rest, and we all had a thought, though we did not divulge it, as we hunkies we dub it, the tears fair in. If he was born in a manger, say wills it, he'll be waiting for what he we prince and Jean. Prince and Jean. Now then, here's something a wee bit different. It's, uh, well, something we all need, and uh, it's a song and praise is something we all need uh, every day, or, or, or at least you should. Uh, it's called, well, I called it Shanks of Our Head, but seemingly the, uh, the proper name for this song is the Porcelain Waltz. There's nobody famous or even well known In the town where I grew up and proud to call home There's only a factory sits on the banks By Lebron's clear water that factory shines now you're gonna ask me what's in the name It's known throughout Europe from Belgium to Spain In Vatican City the heartbeat of Rome Where even His Holiness sits on your throne to this famous company we must give thanks If you're European, European in shanks In some foreign laboratory all on my own Calling for God on the white telephone it's down on my knees as I lower my head In front of my eyes I see shanks of our head Although I have travelled far over the tide The name of my home stirs a deep sense of pride when I see a urinal that's made in Barhead, it makes the hair stand on the back of my neck. To this famous company we must give thanks. If you're European, European in shine. Space Shuttle Columbia flies past the moon It's been there for days just going around It's all very secretive, I'll be quite frank But they're only testing new toilets for shanks there's urinals, there's bathtubs, there's lavatory tanks All over this universe, all made by shanks When you've heard the song, I know just what you'll do You'll look for the name when you visit the loo to this famous company we must give thanks If you're European, European in shanks Don't care if we should sing, be singing that now that we've had Brexit But ah, what the hell, we're still European Right now, here's uh, 
this song I, I get a lot asked to sing a lot. Uh, well, I did when we were going out singing, but uh, still get asked to sing it now and again. It's uh, the great Matt Armour song, Generations of Change. My feather was a baile fair we tune near Capley. He rocked on the grand all the days of his life. By the time he made second, the ice for he reckoned he'd plowed near on half of the East New Gulf Fife. He feed on at Randerston, Crawhill and Cliffington, Campbell and Canby and Big Rennie Hill. At Kingsburns he was married, at Boar Hills he was buried, and man had he lived he'd be plowing on still. For those days were his days, and those ways were his ways, to follow the blue while his back was still strong. But those days have passed, and the times come at last, for the weakness of age to make way for the young. I was not for plowing to the sea, I was going to follow the fish and the fisherman's ways. Rain, hail or sunshine, I've watched the long run line, no man mere contented his hell working days. I've long lined the flood and Grand Dutch and the dogger banks, put the big fish fae the deep devil's hole. I've sight trawled off Shetland and Faroes and Iceland, and weather much worse than a body could thole. For those days were my days, and those ways were my ways, to follow the fish while my back was still strong. But those days are past, and the times come at last, for the weakness of age to make way for the young. My sons, they have grown, and away they have flown, to search for Black Isle and the far northern seas. Like oil men they walk, and like Yankees they talk, there's no much in common between my sons and me. They've roughnecked on Josephine Fortes and Nanny and Dunlin and Claymore and Fisher and Dock. They've made fortunes for sure, for on one run ashore they spend more than I am for my hail season's work. For those days are their days, and those ways are their ways, to ride their off rigs while their backs are still strong. But those days will pass, and the time come at last, for the weakness of age to make a way for the young. My grandsons are growing to the school they are going. The long days of summer they spend here with me. We walk through the warm days, we talk of the old ways, the cornfields, the codfish, the land and the sea. We walk through the fields that my father once tilled, talk with the old men that ensailed with me. Man, it's been awfully good, I've shown them all I could. Of the past and the present, what the future might be. For the morn will be their days, what will be their ways? What will they make of the land, sea and skies? 
My love seen our feet change, but it still seems very strange. To look at my world through a young laddie's eyes. Yeah, a sentiment I should maybe tack up for too long. And the weakness of age will maybe hit him that way for the young right enough. Maybe not just quite yet. Now then, I'm going to finish off with another Bothy Ballad, probably in the, the very first Bothy Ballads I've ever learned. I think I learned it off from my father, but uh, it's called the Barn Yards of Delgaty. Anyway, thanks for, uh, well, thanks for watching. At least uh, when you're watching this, you can it's no the same as walking out to a concert. You can actually just switch off your uh, laptop or whatever you're watching it on and nobody cans. Nobody cans you're no watching. You just uh, want to do something else. But uh, nobody sees you walking out to a concert. So you're, you're at the, this is actually maybe the best way to do it. Right, you didn't hurt nobody's feelings be walking out in the middle of it. In New Dear Parish I was born, a child of youth to meth that came and gin, you'll no believe my word. The session clerk will tell the same, Linton Addy to an Addy, Linton Addy to an A, Linton Lauren, 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 the barn yard and I'll get to, to bide upon my feathers firm. That was never my intent, I loot the lassies double wheel and I the weary drop o' drink. Lent an addy to an addy, lent an addy to an a, lent a lower and lower and lower and the barn yard and I'll get to. As I come in be neither deal at the market for the fee, I fell in with a fair march hill for the barn yards and I'll get to. Lent an addy to an addy, lent an addy to an a, lent a lower and lower and lower and the barn yards and I'll get to. He promised me the twa best horse, you ever set your in upon when I get him to the barn yet nothing there but skin and bone lent an addy to an addy lent an addy to an a lent a lower and lower and lower and the barn yards and I'll get to the old black horse sat on his hunkers, the old white mare lay on her wine, for all that I could hop and cry, the wedding rise at yoke in time, lent an addy to an addy, lent an addy to an a, lent an lower and lower and lower and the barn yards a delgate. No Meg McPherson marks my bros, her and me we can agree. First a moat and sign a knot and I the other jump o' bree. Lent an addy to an addy, lent an addy to an a, lent an lower and lower and lower and the barn yards and I'll get to. When I gang to the kirk on Sundays, money's a bonny lass a sea, sitting by her feather's side, and winking o'er the views at me. Lent an addy to an addy, lent an addy to an a, lent an lower and lower and lower and the barn yards and I'll get to. No some can drink and they be drunk, some can fecht and they be slain, but I can curt another man's loss, and I be welcome to mine. Lent an addy to an addy, lent an addy to an a, lent an lower and lower and lower and the barn yards and I'll get to. My knew it is brunt out, 
the snodder's fairly on the wind. Say fair ye will ye burn yards, you'll never catch me here again. Lentonadi to the naddy, Lentonadi to the nay, Lent to Lauren, 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 the barren yards of Delgate. Cheers, folks. Great stuff there, Joe. Uh, Joe Aitken, and it's great that he's been able to join us virtually uh, here at the Keith Music Festival final concert for this year. Loads of great comments there. Uh, Alan saying, just wonderful to see and hear you again are ah, the best. Uh, Jesse Stewart there says, a true champion. And yes, he is indeed. Uh, thanks very much for taking the time to do that, Joe. Some great music. And as someone said, great songs but a great singer. Uh, we're now going to introduce you uh, so you can all meet the chairman of the Keith TMSA Festival and I'm now going to hand you over to Kathleen Anderson. Well here we are folks sitting at the kitchen table like Aubrey has been this year. It's actually Barbara's kitchen table I'm sitting at but uh, just to say, we've come to the end of another Keith Festival weekend. I'm sure you'll all agree we've had a fantastic virtual festival. A huge thanks have to go to the performers who took the time to contribute to the festival. They have all been magnificent. We've expanded things a bit this year, introducing the competitions. I want to say a massive thank you to everyone who took part and had took the time to enter, as this was a bit of a challenge for them as well. The judges were did a fantastic job as well, so we are eternally grateful to them too. We had over 89 entries overall throughout all our competitions, so that was really, really good. None of this would have been possible without the ex expertise of Gary Cool. He has been working on all of this setup for the last three months, since March. We were having a few Zoom meetings, hundreds of WhatsApp messages going back and forth, contacting guests, setting up various YouTube platforms for the upload of all the performances and the com competitions, sorting them all out into various concerts, dances and sessions that make up the, the whole weekend. This is no mean feat. So a huge thank you to Gary. He was assisted with some of this by Barbara Coots and did quite a few late night co telephone conversations collating all the items. <clears throat> Joyce Dawson, the beating heart of the written poetry competitions. I have never met anyone who puts more effort into the promotion of the written Doric word than Joyce. We had 88 entries in the Upgowry competition for adult written poetry. It was amazing. And Joyce has become quite friendly with quite a lot of the competitors. It's, it's truly wonderful. Once again, we've tried to keep the virtual festival as much a uh, as accurate as we can for our normal festival. Still put in the dances, concerts, sessions and competitions, Chorus Cup and Bairns Cayley all together. Something for everybody, I hope. A huge thank you to everyone who has kept the festival pro prominent in social media by sharing the Facebook pages regularly. It's very much appreciated. We don't know how the COVID-19 is going to go, but we would like to think that June 2022 will be the year when we can get back to an actual festival and we will all meet up again in the real world. And uh, we'll have Mr Keith Festival himself, Sandy McCombie, back at the heart of the festival with all the committee members and the wonderful helpers who come to make the festival a success. A huge thank you also has to go to our sponsors who contribute to us all the time and support the virtual festival as well as our normal festivals. Without them, we wouldn't be able to continue. I think we've had a wee companion joining us in, in the kitchen here. That's one of my granddaughters, but well, well. Keith Festival has been the starting off point for many young musicians who have gone on to careers in music, and I hope they remember where they came from. So, all I have to say is, I dare God, lads and lasses, I dare God. 
Great there. A uh, lovely message there from Kathleen Anderson, the chairman of Keith TMSA. And I'd now, uh, hopefully, like to invite into the chat the man. <laughs> you, can, you can come out of the freezer now. <laughs> Thanks for letting me out you. Oh. Yeah, I'll tell you what, we'll, 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 let you, we'll let you stay out for a bit and thaw yourself out. But the whiskey must be good. It must be good. <laughs> It's uh, what a tremendous amount of work that you've done, Gary. Oh, thanks, you. And it's been, you know, it's been worth all the the late nights and the um, late videos that come in, you and. Um, <laughs> but uh, no, I mean, we couldn't do any of this without the musicians and the the singers that have provided videos for us over the weekend and done live stuff as well. So they've all done it free of charge for the good of music and for the good of Keith Festival. So just a huge thank you to everybody that's been involved in performing through the weekend. But I just wanted to pop on and say thank you to you, Ewan, for expertly comparing this evening's proceedings. Uh, you've kept it going really smoothly and added in a wee bit of fun as well as I knew you would. So thank you very much. And of course, thanks to everybody that's been watching with a great audiences over the weekend. Um, and it's great to just to have a bit of a flavour of Keith. We'll never replicate it without it being in person, but we'll try our best. It is, it is hard to do it uh, virtually and make you feel that you're there, but I think you've done a really good job. And if you had, I'm going to leave you with one message so that before you sneak away and put you on the spot, if you had one message to say to everyone that's watching tonight to encourage them to come to Keith Festival next year, what would it be? Um, well, you've just seen how much talent Keith Festival attracts. Um, over the course of the weekend, we've had over 30 performers between the dance, 14 bands in the dance, and then the two concerts plus the sessions. It's over 30 performers we've had, and every one of them has been top-notch quality. So you can see just how great a, a value for your weekend you get by coming to Keith. But also, it is such a friendly festival. You know, it's so relaxed. There's no pomp and ceremony. It's just come, sing, play, and enjoy yourself. Well, there you go. You've heard it from Gary himself. So um, put your hat and gloves back on, and back in there you go. <laughs> and back in there you go. <laughs> Thanks, Gary. And uh, for those that are typing on Facebook, I reckon we could do this virtually. We could say hip hip, hip hip, hip hip. And uh, three cheers there for the festival. We've got um, two more um, acts left to go. We have uh, the wonderful Scott Band coming up next, followed by the Festival of Keith, which is the song uh, that they all sing at the festival. There's also a great dance for the Festival of Keith. And then we'll uh, get you warmed up for the last dance for the final concert. So next up is Scott Band. Scott uh, hails around the Blair Gowrie area. And as the chairperson of the Blair Gowrie Accordion and Fiddle Club, he's a great box player and can also play not only a piano accordion, but he can play a button accordion. Uh, he's produced quite a few CDs now and is very active in the Royal Scottish Country Dance scene as well. And recently taken on a radio show with Radio GH for the Vinyl Vault, where he features a lot of older records, 78s, 45s and 33s on the, the decks and bringing back lots of great memories for a lot of people, including that wee hiss and scratch now and then. So take your partners and we will introduce the next band in our concert tonight, Scott Band and his Scottish dance band, Haragan.
Thanks very much everybody, I hope you're all well and it's great to be asked to do this virtual session for the Keith Festival 2021. Just a shame it can't be in person but due to the current government uh, guidelines etc um, I don't think it's feasible to, to run a festival at the moment but it's great to be asked to do this virtually. A big thanks to the other three members of the band that are joining me for this. Uh, Stephen Cacri on second accordion, Bill Ewan on piano and bass, and of course Graham Sherritt on drums. No strangers to the Keith Festival at all. We started off there with a couple of 6-8 marches, um, played on the old Ranco here. Both tunes by the late Ian Peterson from Dollar. Um, there's quite a few tunes that Ian's included in this selection tonight. Uh, the first two there were Alf's favourite and Neil McMillan of Balmaha. We're going to change to the Shan Marino this time uh, for a couple of 4-4 four, four matches, again composed by Ian Peterson. The first one is Ardemachan Point and the second one written for his wife is Sheila Peterson. Cracking 4 fours there from Ian Peterson, uh, Ardermacken Point, and Sheila Peterson. We're going to stick with the Shan Marino this time, and this is a medley, uh, Slower into Waltz medley. Again, all tunes composed by Ian Peterson. The first tune is The Hills Around Port York, The Slopes of Menhaint, and the last tune is Wesley. Thank you. 
from the pen of the late Ian Peterson. We're going to swap recordings again. We're going to go to the Honor Galena this time and this is for a set of reels for the dance Happy Return. The original by Harry Carmichael is called the Tweeddale Reel. Then one by the late David Finlay called Welcome to Tyneside. Then we're going to Perth to the late Alice, Alan Kindness for uh, a tune he wrote for his wife called Gladys Kindness. And the last tune is written by the late Andy Bathgate, who was clarinet player with the Tim, Tim Wright Band, and it's for a tune called The Silver Silver. <laughs>
couple of two four marches on the cards now if you'd like to take your partners for the Canadian barn dance. The first tune written by the late Ian Powery is called Fred Bremner of South Dunwadden, and the second tune by the late Ian Holmes is Jimmy Blue of Tynagorum. Thanks very much. Well, unfortunately, that's us come to the last set of this spot. Um, I'll just have to thank the festival committee for asking us to do this concert spot for you tonight. Um, this is a set of jigs we're going to finish up with um, for the dance Lady Catherine Bruce's Reel. I got this off a broadcast of the late Colin Finlayson and his band. Uh, so the original tune is The Laird of Cockpen, A Trip to Tobermory by Neil Grant, Wachiel's Welcome to Glasgow, and the last tune is the Glasgow Gallic Club. And until we're able to see each another in person, which I hope won't be too far off now, uh, stay safe and look after each other. Cheers.
There we go. More great music and uh, our penultimate band, really, for tonight's final concert for the Keith TMSA Festival. It's Scott Band and his band and his six accordions. Well, he thinks it's six accordions. It could be more. If you'd like to have a, a look at some of Scott's accordions, Scott Band Accordion Museum will be opening in a town near you soon. Uh, accompanied there ably by Graham Sherritt on drums, Stephen Cackery on second box, and not forgetting Bill Ewan, MBE, Mars Bar Eater, on piano. Yes, we all know Bill likes a Mars Bar. In fact, these are sitting here, Bill, waiting for you. Um, so I will leave them out so that I don't forget. Anyway, great sets of music there by Scott and the band, and great to hear all the different instruments as well. Uh, before our final band, we are going to let you hear the Festival of Keith, which is a great recording here from uh, an archive, some old video footage. So Gary has uh, pre-warned me that the quality might not be slightly great, but it's great to have a look back. Uh, this is taken from the Festival of Keith, in the, um, the 25th Festival, which is held back in the year 2000. So you all need to get yourselves up in a big circle around the room. Uh, Jesse Stewart will be leading all the dancers in the middle of the room. And uh, you can all join in. Joe's going to lead us off. He can sing it as well. And if you don't know the words, you can um, work something out. Take your partners and uh, let's hear you singing, dancing and clapping for the Festival of Keith. Too long. Oh, hopefully it won't be too long until we can have another Keith Music Festival. Uh, it certainly won't be too long. But unfortunately, all good things must come to an end. And sadly, uh, we are going to be leaving you in the next minute or two for our final dance with the Tom Moore Scottish Dance Band. I'd like to say thank you very much for your company over tonight's concert. It's been great to read all your comments and find out where you've been tuned in from what you've enjoyed listening to, and all your memories of the festival. And some of you were wondering where Tiger was tonight. Well, he's been here all night, 
and he's been watching a lot of the show behind the scenes as well as knocking my webcam off a few times as well. Thanks to Gary for uh, getting all the committee on board and pulling all stops out to create all these fantastic videos and we have really, really enjoyed the weekend. If you have missed some of the videos, you can go back onto the Facebook page. Uh, you'll see all the videos there and you can watch them at your own leisure in your own time. Also, one more shout out to the sponsors uh, of tonight's concert to say thank you very much to them all. EW, Simmers and Sun Lifestyle Magazine, Shears Hair and Beauty Retreat and Springfield Properties. Thank you very much to them. Uh, it's a big help. And if you have donated, thank you very much. Thanks to all the musicians, and I think I've covered everyone there. Hopefully I have. If not, I'm sure Gary will jump out of this freezer and tell me. Um, so we'll leave you with saying one of the famous sayings from the Keith Festival, Hurr Gan, and a saying that you might know from a certain gentleman that lives up that way. Ah, the best till then, and take your partners far. The Circassian Circle starting off and finishing off the same way with a lively Circassian Circle. Tom Moore and his band. Thanks very much, everyone. Good night. Hi, folks. Welcome to another year of Virtual Key Festival. Uh, hope you're all doing well. Obviously, change times, but we'll get there soon. And hopefully you will enjoy this next set it's tom on the band and we're going to do the circumcision the circassian circle circumcision circassian circle hey, i kind of mind the tunes but i'm sure you'll enjoy them take care folks Corner two. One, two. <laughs>